Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video blog. Now I'm here at the Amazon Shelter, which is located just west of parts of Maldonado. Now some of our interns, when they come and spend time with us, they want to spend time at an animal shelter, and this is the animal shelter that we send our interns to. So we thought that for this week's video blog, it would be a great opportunity to give you more information about the important work they're doing here at the Amazon Shelter. The Amazon Shelter has been working to help abused and neglected animals for 14 years, and during that time they've taken in over 300 animals. Now, during my visit to the Amazon shelter, I got the chance to speak to the founder, Magali, and I asked her, what are the reasons most of these animals come to the shelter? How do most of them come here? What's the reason most of them come here? Oh, yeah, the authorities, when they make cooperatives, mm -hmm. they give it to us, or people that usually said that they found it, mm. but probably they have it like a pet, mm. or people that has like a pet, and the animals begin to get bad, like whole there, yeah. because for the bad diet that they usually gave to the animals, they begin to get sick immediately yeah. and they bring it to us yeah. with diarrhea when they are in the last weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think with, with the primates that come here that, that many of them are pets because their parents have been shot for hunting? Yeah, most yeah. of them mean pets because they kill the mother, eat the mother and mm. they want to keep the baby like a yeah. pet. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've seen that. That's terrible. usually happening so sad. here. So sad, yeah, yeah, it's terrible. It's yeah, it's heartbreaking. Yeah. Um, the day I visited the Amazon shelter, this juvenile great potu had just arrived. Now, of course, the goal for these animals is to release them back into the wild whenever possible. And I asked Magali about some of the challenges and time frame for releasing these animals back into the wild. Yeah. And, yeah. How long do you think it often takes? Like, what's Oof, the average time? It takes a couple of years, and yeah. probably more. Okay. Because first, we need to teach the animal that forget that being him, he being human before. Mm -hmm. So that's take a long time. We have monkeys that they are still thinking that they being humans yeah. and they don't want to change their behavior so release that kind of animal is impossible yeah and then we need to put in a group and he needs to be uh, get involved in that group and sometimes also is very complicated because he never been in a group of monkey yeah so we have to wait all those things and change the behavior to send it back to the forest yeah it's difficult as you would expect, feeding and caring for this many animals is quite a financial burden. And I spoke to Magali about some of the challenges in getting funding for her shelter. It costs a lot of money to keep something like this oh, running. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. how are you are you funded? Where do you get it from? I know it's difficult. But. Well, sometimes, uh, always, I need to make go get funding to try to get uh, a couple of thousand dollars because this is very expensive. Uh, a years ago, we have a sponsor that mm -hmm. helped us mm -hmm. with money and give it 5000 3000 2000 but now we don't have any sponsors, mm -hmm. so it's more difficult. Yeah. And also, we never can get the equipment. Everyone who comes to the Amazon to either work or visit leaves with a new appreciation of just how incredible the animals who live here really are. But I wanted to know from Magali what inspired her to start the Amazon shelter. Well, I came a years ago, like uh, 15 or 16, to visit the jungle that everybody do it, and I want to see wild animals, because mm -hmm. when you go to the jungle, you said, okay, I want to see wild animals. But I made some uh, trips to different plains, and it was really difficult to see an animal. And when I came mm -hmm. back, I said, okay, I will try to investigate what's going on with wild animals and then when I get involved it was terrible traffic, people selling animals, wild animals in Lima mm. in a special place that you can get in and you ask it for whatever you needed and they will give it so it was really sad. The government is, doesn't making nothing to help mm. the wild animals always. Yeah. Uh, they promise you to do a lot of things, at the end they don't help in nothing. So I said, okay, I want to make an organization, but first, before coming here, I want to know about, about wild animals. So I've been in a zoo mm. for two years, so okay. I can check all the, 
all the movies that are inside sí. too, and it was mm -hmm. really sad mm -hmm. because I found a place that all the animals coming for traffic mm -hmm. go there yeah. and nobody do nothing for that. They uh, were in a little in cage of one by one. Oh, the food was minimum. They just give it for survive, nothing more. They don't want to move it, to put it in another place. So it was really, really sad. And I'm talking about a hundred of animals. Yeah. Yeah. And finally, I wanted to ask Migali what the future plans are for the Amazon shelter. If you, if you can get more funding, what would be your hopes? Oh, well, continue releasing the animals, yeah. trying to make couples, make a family, and then sending back to the forest. That's yeah. the idea. We don't want to be a zoo. For sure. And in terms of the, the Amazon shelter here, like what is it that you, you, you uh, need we in needed, renovations? Uh, We've been receiving animals and we put it in our quarantine. So now we don't have a quarantine. We need a quarantine and we need a nursery to receive the babies and keep it warm. And the quarantine to receive animals that just arrived and they are sick. Mm. And we need to make a quarantine to separate from our animals. So that is very important yeah, for us. He was uh, in a restaurant. He was in Wairuru Wai restaurant. Um, they kept him there, yeah, and the people took photos of him. Um, and he had to listen to live music to, all night. Oh, and now we're now we're planning on releasing them next year. We're trying to we're, we're trying to get a female tape mm -hmm. here from El Haguar, the zoo, mm. and okay. bring him here. Bring her here. Yeah. As you can see, Magali and all the volunteers at the Amazon Shelter are doing amazing work. It's no wonder that here at Fawn Forever, we're very proud to send our interns to this shelter. Now, if you'd like more information about the Amazon Shelter and how you can help, don't forget to visit their website at www.amazonshelter.org. Well, that's it for this week's video blog. Now, don't forget to check out our website, www.faunaforever.org, for more information about our programs, including our animal rescue program, which sends our interns to the Amazon shelter. And also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We'll see you next week.